The schools were on vacation this week, but that didn't slow us down. We'll start in Marlboro at Marlboro High with the boys lacrosse team taking on North Middlesex. In the second quarter with the score 2 to 1 North Middlesex, the Patriots are able to add to their lead after some nice teamwork. Marlboro cuts the lead in half when Matt Noyce nets a goal off the pass from Jason Plant. Joe Gilchrist ties the game by himself as he spins around the defender and goes top shelf. The score remained 3-3 until the fourth quarter when North Middlesex went on a scoring barrage. They take the lead here with a little jump shot. Next they go up two goals after a quick shot off a nice feed keeping the defense off balance. The lead widens to three after a bouncing shot that the Marlboro goalie cannot react fast enough to. Marlboro tries to fight their way back as Tyler Adkins rips a screamer into the net to bring the Panthers within two. The comeback is short-lived as the Patriots take the ensuing faceoff the length of the field and score what looks to be a back-breaking goal. Joe Gilchrist is not ready for this game to end. He looks off the defender and puts one on net to make the score 7-5. With less than a minute left and the goalie pulled, North Middlesex throws one at net and it rolls in for the game ceiling score. The loss drops Marlboro to 2-3 on the season. Tuesday was quite the day for Tyler Hudson of Acibet. Michaela Vernava has more on his historic performance. Acibet toppled air 8-0 with right-hander Tyler Hudson needing only 86 pitches for a perfect game. Hudson had plenty of run support from his teammates, including Travis DeVol, who went three for three with three runs, and Marty Henry, who knocked in three RBI. Ayers fielding was ridden with miscues, which didn't help their cause. Check out this pass ball, which tacks on a run for Acibit. Hudson had a total of 15 strikeouts throughout the course of the game. There's unspoken tension to keep the perfect game alive going into the sixth. Hudson starts it out with a K. Of course, this shutout wasn't without the help of his teammates in the field. There's a catch by center fielder Tom Walsh. And Hudson caps off the inning with another strikeout victim. If he's starting to get nervous, Hudson isn't showing it as he strikes out another batter looking. Here's Tyler Charbonneau with a clutch fielding play. He makes the second out in the seventh with that impressive catch. Okay, here's where the pressure starts to build. Two outs in the final inning. It's a 3-1 count, and there's a perfect game on the line. Boom, strike two, 3-2 three, two count. Next pitch, foul ball, still 3-2. And a swing and a miss. That seals the deal. Tyler Hudson's completed his perfect game. Pitching a perfect game is the most celebrated feat in the game of baseball. It is so rare that only 23 perfect games have been recorded in Major League history. Needless to say, Hudson was pretty pumped up about his accomplishment. This is the first one I've ever thrown. This is the first I've ever come close to anyways. And um, I don't know, I've been playing baseball for probably six, seven years. This is the first I've ever thrown, so I'm pretty excited. I was so nervous coming up in that last sitting. I, I was trying not to think about it, but you know, I was in the back of my mind. I was shaking on the mound when that, I took that to 3-2. Wow, that was big. Me and Tyler came a long way. We started off a little rough at the beginning of last year, but we picked up and we're doing good now. When he was down three and one, I had to call a timeout because I could tell when he's getting all fidgety and stuff like that. So I just went out there and told him he had it and he's all set. And we came out and did it. Certainly a win this team won't soon forget. For WMCT TV Sports, I'm Michaela Vernava. Spring sports are in full swing and we'll leave you with some scores from earlier in the week. For WMCT TV Sports, I'm Tom Brown.